it's gonna be a week in my life of morning routines. It is, I think like 5.30 something, 5.40. I need to leave in five minutes. Today is Monday. This is my more like intense mornings as of lately so I could get myself, you know, in the swing of things. I've been really back on like an early morning routine. Obviously every day is different. They all consist of like the same things, like I work out. Sometimes I go to walk in the morning, sometimes I do it like on my walking pad later when I'm working. So it just depends on the like schedule. I like to do a silent walk if I can every day. It's not always in the morning. Obviously breakfast, journaling, reading, you guys will see, okay? It's different every day because of my workout schedule. But yeah, I'm going to 6 a.m. Pilates and then I do have weightlifting at 8.30. I don't always like stack them, but I just have really been loving getting up at like early on a Monday because it gets me like, it like it's like a shock, you know what I mean? Shock to my system, but also my favorite teacher who teaches today. All our new year, be sure to subscribe. Let's make some coffee. I'm also wearing like flare leggings, which I never do to Pilates, but I don't wanna wake Coconut up and she's sleeping in my closet. So we're just gonna see. Kind of looks ridiculous, but you know, it is what it is. Set is fabletic. It's actually like a really cute set. I love Monday mornings because there's a new Armchair Expert podcast episode. I've been so into Armchair Expert again. I just love them. I love a good podcast in the morning. So this is also when I ice roll. It helps me wake up, but also my face is so puffy in the morning, especially when I wake up early. I got like an 88 sleep score on my aura ring this weekend, which is higher than it's been normally. And I slept for like nine hours in one night. So I'm hoping that just like makes up for it. You know? The way that I wake up early is I go to bed early. I have always been someone who goes to bed early and it has not always, even with that, been easy to wake up early at all. But recently, like today was very difficult to get up, I'll be honest with you, but recently I've just been on this like kick of my early mornings again and I look forward to them. I could go to bed like excited about them, which helps, but it's just the initial wake up. Like you have to just be stronger than that. Like, and it's tough. It is really, really tough. But once you get out of bed and like you're in your bathroom, the lights are on, like I'm good to go. Chug my coffee and I'm awake in like five minutes. It's crazy what that'll do. I was sleeping in my bed 20 minutes ago. Got my smoothie. So good. Just got out of class, drinking my smoothie. This is the spray. I talk about this all the time. The Fit is Toned Down Spray. Oh my god. It is the most needed product like in your car post-workout that to tones down your red skin. I don't know how many times I've said that in this video, so sorry. I'm on my way home. This is when I like feed the dogs and I read and journal and I'll change into a different workout set because you get so like disgusting in hot Pilates, you like can't even sit on my furniture. Um, and then I weight lift at 8.30. This is not always. I just have like really been in this routine of loving doing this on Mondays. You know when you have like your two favorite workout classes? and you just like can't miss them because you look forward to them all week. Might have now ended up being on the same day, the same morning. So we'll see how long this lasts, but if I'm feeling up for it, I'm always like wanting to do both. Just changed feeling better. Now I'm going to read and journal. So this is my morning stack. I have my journal. These are on my Amazon storefront. Morning pages is where I write for three pages straight, no stopping. And then I read a nonfiction book on my Kindle. I'm going through again the um, Gap in the Game book that I love so much to like prep for an episode, but I'm reading it for a second time, like right after that's how good it is. But this time, literally cured me also hi i just played with him for like 20 minutes and he is still so clingy just finished reading and journaling i'm about to head out but Fitz is on basically his dog bed.
Just finished my last workout, which is right we go. So I have to leave my house in like 45 minutes for Coco's appointment. I need to shower and do a bunch of stuff, so just door dashed breakfast, which I really don't do. I've been making such good breakfast at home, which I sadly don't have right now because I couldn't make it to the farmer's market. So I door dashed breakfast, which I really never do, but when I do, it's a chop shop sunrise wrap. You guys will see it, it's so good. So anyways, I'm gonna be in a rush when I get back, so I've gotta grab a couple things. This TV in here is incredible. Jumping in the shower. I'm ready for the day. I'm taking Coco to her physical therapy appointment. I wish I was kidding. Um, I have my second coffee and also I have this like no makeup makeup look that's like really no makeup. I will show y'all tomorrow the products that I've been using because I love it. Like it's all I ever wanna wear on my skin. And then if I go out at night and I put mascara on, like it's two products, that easy. It's or three products, I guess technically. So good, I'll make it by Mario. So tomorrow I'll show y'all. But that's my Monday morning routine and I'll see you guys tomorrow. a.m. I just showered off my spray tan. I have spin at 7. I haven't actually taken this time. But I've been kind of switching it off. When I go to spin, I typically go at like 8.30 and then I'll have my morning routine before. But it doesn't work today. So we're going to be at 7. We read a journal and then go to spin. I've been loving Soul Cycle lately. That's where I've been going. Um, I personally like the Preston Hollow location better because I feel like there's less people, parking's easier, there's a parking lot right up front, it's just everything about it is better. The West Village one's really cute, like it is great, I just like, West Village parking is like not my thing. I'm putting on my blanket robe from Casper. I love this thing. Oh, it's so cozy. Okay, Kindle. Water, we're cut. the drill morning pages well if it stares at me in which you're gonna put them more even though I spent my entire life playing with him the whole thing and he has so many toys he has an entire yard I am constantly ice rolling these days I need to drink a tea before bed that like deep puffs my face you know I just, it's so weird. Like I've noticed it as I've gotten older. I remember when I was younger, I used to fly and nothing would happen to my face. And I remember the day that I realized how puffed my face was and it was after a photo shoot. I flew into New York, I had a shoot and then I got the photos back. And I was like, oh. So anyways, I'm on my way to the Soul Cycle. I've been really liking it lately. I just kind of do workouts that I'm in the mood for. I don't like hold myself too, too strict of a routine. I know it seems like I do because I work out every day, but I work out because I feel so much better, like mentally. It's really like an anxiety thing for me. It just changes the game, especially when I do it in the morning. So I feel like I get like a lot of my anxiety out and then I'm like ahead of the day. I have like a sense of like satisfaction that I did something, I got up and I'm just a better person, honestly. And I get a lot more done and more productive, whatever. So anyways, sometimes I will switch up my workouts. I just typically always have hot Pilates at least once a week, which recently I've been doing it like two or three times a week. And then um, I will obviously always like weight lift normally. I haven't stopped that since I started like a year ago. Um, and then I'll just add in, sometimes I'll do like boxing, sometimes I'll do whatever, but I, I do, I'm really on a soul cycle kick right now. So I just let myself like do whatever I want, whatever I feel like doing, especially with like working out. You're only gonna do it if you like doing it. And there's so many different kinds of workouts. It's like not even worth it to do one that you don't like. You know what I mean? Like I've tried so many times to get myself to become a runner and I have this like pipe dream of becoming a runner. And it's just not a pipe dream. Like it's just, 
I don't know. I wish I loved it because I do think it would be like obviously great for me and my anxiety. I just don't. And I like walking, but I get bored. Like if I go by myself, I'm like, all right. Even when I'm listening to a podcast, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to be done with this. Like I, I do get bored, even though I do love my walks. But that's why I'll do like a silent walk because then I only do 30 minutes. And I'm like, all right, I did a walk. Also, listening to the Skinny Confidential. Just finished class, it's raining, and I was supposed to go on a walk, so love that for me. I'm out of like my topping right now and I'm so sad. This TV in my bathroom is amazing. I have on Gals on the Go, the Peace with Michelle episode because I am Peace with Michelle's number one fan. So I just got out of the shower. No walk happened today because it was raining. So I just relaxed, I made some breakfast and I showered. I just put on this body oil that I've been loving, Primally Pure, body oil, blue tansy, I feel like I talk about Primally Pure in literally every video right now. Um, this is not sponsored. I do work with them on the podcast and I've worked with them like years ago on my YouTube, a while ago on my YouTube channel. Um, but I am just such a big fan of their stuff. It's the best, it's non-toxic, but it's the best oils you'll ever use. And I'm such a fan of like serums and oils and all of that. Like it's just right up my alley, um, so I love it. So anyways, I use their body oils. They also last a long time. Like I've been using this forever, all over my body, and like how is, I don't understand. I don't get it. Um, I like the Sonia Dakar Super Clear Serum. This really helps me with breakouts, especially when I have like active breakouts. I find it is literally a miracle worker. Primally Pure Pumping Serum. I honestly feel like any of their serums. I don't even care what it does. It just like feels so good on my skin. And it makes my skin look so, like just so like fresh and clean. Normally, I would put on a sunscreen. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm wearing all white and this is a tinted sunscreen and it's gonna get all my clothes. Um, but also, because I'm going to get my hair done, I'm going to dry bar, surprise, surprise, I have a shoot today. So I went in a blowout and I'm getting my makeup done today. So I would rather just have like my fresh skincare on and no um, SPF, but like I literally wear Super Goop SPF every single day, specifically the glow screen. Love this stuff in golden hour when I have a self tan on. Just like blurs out your skin, it's amazing. I'll have everything linked below, but anyways, that's it. That's all I've been doing for skincare. Like basically all I really need is the Primally Pure Oil. I um, just went on and used my own code to get stuff, so. Anyway, in recent developments, since I moved into this house and I discovered Cookie Pia Farms Cookie, cookie butter creamer. I feel like I talk about this in every video, but hey, this is for my new people, okay? I discovered this creamer that changed my life. I am 25 and I've gotten Starbucks out, I, like honestly, like almost every single day of my life and not just once, but sometimes twice a day. And I'm not proud of that. It's just been like such a huge thing in my life. Like even before high school, like I was the girl that they would have like the order sitting and waiting for me at like 6 a.m. Like I just have always been that girl. And I haven't been going because I'm so in love with this Califia Farms, like iced coffee, the whole setup. But Macy has a new Starbucks order that she wants me to try. And I just like can't, like the thought of not having another Califia Farms iced coffee. I don't know. We'll see if I'm strong enough to like go try something new. But I have a blood appointment in like 35 minutes. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna get dressed. I just have like a very cozy outfit laid out and then I'm um, going to get my hair done. I'm not strong enough. I just, I crave this coffee. And yes, I do have about two cups of coffee a day, um, but I'm gonna be honest, like, I, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, if I'm gonna wake up early, it's because I, t I drink one before my workout and then I need one after my workout, but part of me, like, there are some mornings that I maybe could go without coffee, but I don't know, then I get to the workout and I fully regret it. Like I've tried to just be like a one iced coffee drink girl, but I just, I don't think, I don't think that's my calling in life. I don't think that's my journey. I don't think that's the road that I want to go down. 
So instead, I will choose happiness. I don't want y'all to think that I chose this outfit because I think it's a look. I need you guys to know that it's comfortable and that's why I'm wearing it. So these pants are Amazon and they are actually the best pants. They're men's pants. I will put them on. They're actually already on my storefront. Most, if I mention something from Amazon, guys, don't worry about it being linked in the video. It's linked on my storefront. As well as my like iced coffee and my like drinks. I can even make an entire like morning routine storefront page too. I'll do that as well. And then these are also in kitchen. These shoes are my favorite shoes. They're definitely not for everyone. The little ballet flats from Mango. I got them on sale. They've been on sale for a bit, so they might still be when you guys see this. I'll link them, but they are my most worn pairs and I want them. I wish they had more colors and then they just like don't have them available. Um, this like oversized t-shirt. So this is like really what I could have changed out to make it look better, but it's skims and it's like the boyfriend t-shirt. Like look, this is the, the yep, see? Sweater is Abercrombie, it's my most worn sweater. And I'm not wearing any earrings or anything because I would have to take them off anyways for the blowout. Oh, I've been using this bag a ton too and I've just been loving it. I got it years ago on the Real Real from Fendi. Fits my Kindle, fits like everything that I need in here. And I just love that. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. It's like 6.10. I'm gonna read a little bit this morning. I have a workout at 7.30. Um, I just like being up, it's, it was painful to get up today. I'll be honest with you, that was really, really tough. It was not ideal, it was not fun. There are days when I really look forward to it and I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait. And there are other days where I'm like, no, I can definitely wait. I can, I can definitely wait, you know? So anyways, I'm gonna, just make some coffee and read. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. I will say, my mental health is a lot better and I'm a lot more calm with these early mornings. I feel like I just have a lot more time to myself. I just feel better about the day. Like everything about it, I'm feeling better. I have been for the past few weeks, month, whatever, but like I am feeling better. This is the cutest thing ever. I just came in here and Fitz is already waiting for me. He woke up from my bedroom and moved over here so he could sit with me because he knew I was coming. That is so sweet. Or he just likes sitting here. But I think he knew I was coming. He's very tired. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing to my workout. These biker shorts are actually my favorite biker shorts. They're from Story. They are so soft. Like something about Story's workout sets, like S-T-O-R-I, they're just so soft and they're so flattering. I have this sports bra, which is a set. I actually couldn't find the bottoms from Amazon. I have my favorite Amazon sets linked to my storefront and I only have a few because it's like only the ones that I've used and had for a long period of time. They don't last you forever, obviously, and they do stretch out. Like, you are paying only $30 for a workout set versus like, you know, investing. But I really like this one. So I will link them if you guys want more workout sets or stuff. I really do recommend those Amazon ones. Um, but I mainly, I like like Set Active and Year Bars the best just because they last the longest and they're the most flattering, they're like the best quality and whatever. But if you don't care about that and you just want, like I get a $3 workout set, the Amazon ones are good, I have them liked. Um, this tank is brandy and then I have these like Reebok shoes that they gave us at the Amazon um, trip in Austin and like I love them. Like 
they gave them to me and I was like, oh, they're cute. I didn't realize that I was literally gonna wear them every day. I love them, like to weightlift and also to like walk and you can wear them like with a dress and they're really cute, you know? Very good, versatile shoes. So I will link this below. All right, we're gonna head off. I'm back. Starbucks get her new favorite order and I'm gonna taste test it here for the video. Here we go. She's saying I'm extra out after the workout. Screenshot. Alright, I'm out of my workout. It was honestly really hard. Oh my god, the only thing that will save me, taste test time. It's good, actually. Granite ice Americano, blonde espresso, extra cream, cinnamon powder. It's good, it's not my Clefia Farms, but I do like it and it gives you like a, gives me fall energy. I can't describe it, but I'm always looking for things that give me fall energy. I'm back home, I just showered and I'm gonna show y'all my little makeup routine. I have my hair up because I'm waiting for the oil on my body to dry. So, of course, Super Goop Glow Screen in Golden Hour. I actually wish I would've put this on a couple minutes ago, just so it would've dried, but I will have this link. This is my, all time holy grail product. I've probably shown it in like 200 YouTube videos. I'm not kidding. I've used it for years and it just like blurs out your skin so well. It's so good. I feel like all my videos are just the same thing over and over again. But like, you know, this is my life, you know? So what am I supposed to do? I have been loving everything from Jenny Bird. I need new jewelry. I made an order. Um, on Revolve and I got these earrings a necklace and then these heart earrings that are really cute um, These are more like every day and then they sent me two pairs of sunglasses those gold ones that I've been wearing that I'm like obsessed with um, And I haven't worn the black ones. They sent me a pair of black ones I haven't worn them yet, but I just like love everything from them and I love Jennifer Fisher But Jenny Bird is like a really good alternative because they're still really nice But like a third of the price and I've worn Jennifer Fisher hoops like probably every day for the past like besides until I got Jenny Bird for the probably like since college like four or five years how old am I? Yeah, I was yeah like four or five years. So anyways, I got these products when I was just in an Uber home from Fort Worth one night and I was like tipsy shopping on Sephora and I just made like and it was a Sephora sale so I just like made a bunch of purchases. And like, I really still don't know what these are, except for they make my skin look so good. They had great reviews, so I was like, you know what, I might as well try it. Um, I used the Patrick Ta Brow Gel, and I love this stuff. And then I also got Makeup by Mario Blush, so you guys will see this. I do need to put mascara on because I'm recording a podcast today. I just don't feel like that right now, so I'll do it like right before. But anyways, I just take my Kosas brush, wherever that is, that I need to wash, and I put on... Which one do I? I put on the sculpt. The difference is like so, so subtle. But I will say throughout the day, look, my skin tone is just a little more even. And my skin looks so good. So this is after the first powder. And then I do the transforming skin enhancer and put this everywhere. And like my skin, it just looks so much better. Like I don't know if you guys can tell here, but it's crazy it's like the product you didn't even know existed but that you like need and then i just put on the makeup by mario blush in poppy pink i love this and i put a lot on because i kind of want to look summer like it looks just really natural that way and very very summery his blushes are so good but like i literally put what i put on so much i don't know if i put bronzer on or anything put it on my nose so it looks more natural there you go, that's all I do. That is my everyday summer makeup routine. Like, no makeup makeup, 
and it really is like nothing. So I had my blow up from yesterday, so I'm just gonna like shake my hair out. And we're off to make some breakfast, and then I have to start my day. But yeah, just like a blowout that needs to just do its thing. That's what the only thing I hate about like body oil is that I hate when it gets in your hair. So, anyways, um, sometimes I'll even put like Morphe setting spray on. I guess I'll do it today just because we're here. Even though there's like literally nothing on, it just like I can't describe it. It makes your skin look so good. Like, I don't even know if you guys can tell, but. I swear, it's so good. breakfast I'm drinking my coffee and I think it's like 9 I'm about to get to work so I will see you guys tomorrow for my Thursday morning routine which is one of my faves but I'll see you guys tomorrow for my Thursday morning routine it's 5 20 I'm going to Pilates I'm going to Hot Pilates. I'm going to the location I really don't go to because my favorite teacher is teaching there. It's like five minutes further away. It feels like forever though at 5 a.m. I scroll really bad. <laughs> like, my face is like blowfish, pufferfish. I just texted one of my like best friends like any chance you're in the 6 a.m. Pilates class and she said yes And not only are we in the same class, we booked the spots next to each other. So it's perfect Literally perfect. So anyways, I'm listening to World Church podcast I love Thursday mornings because I go to Pilates and it's my favorite day for podcasts because in my podcast I've talked about this on yes my podcast drops world first podcast another skin confidential There's like so many good podcasts that drop on Thursday. So and again, I've said this many times, I'm a Thursday girl through and through. It's actually my favorite day of the week because there's so much to look forward to, but you don't have to leave your house. So I'm gonna keep eyes rolling and uh, talk soon. Finished, y'all know the drill. Tone down spray. Wow. Whew. It's seven now, I'm heading home to walk really quick and then read and journal. I have an appointment at nine, so gotta chop chop. Going on a little walk. Thursday, so I'm also gonna put on the Kardashians as I shower and get ready. What a beautiful experience that I have here. I'm obsessed. Is this episode eight? Yeah, I guess so. 
Wow. put on a very chill outfit, it looks like I'm not wearing shorts, I swear I am. These are really skims, basically like pajama shorts. But I'm just running basically, I'm an appointment, so it doesn't really matter. This shirt that's from Diamond Cross Ranch, I have my Reeboks on, and that is it. Um, I fixed, I touched up like two pieces, but when I go to Hot Pilates, I like mastered the art of like keeping my blowout. Um, I can do a whole video on that, basically I just keep moving it up on my head and I wear the towel around my neck at all times and I like tuck it into my sports bra. I do that in pretty much all my workout classes to keep my hair um, for as long as possible. So anyway, it's time to make some breakfast and then we're good. Journaling time. Okay, so that is it for my morning today. I'm off, I'm a busy, busy girl. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Friday morning, the last day of like my morning routine. I actually have a full like weekend morning routine too that I like, I don't feel like I'll film because it's like my chill thing, but I, I honestly, I literally just wake up and I go read on the couch and then typically I'll go like work out or do something. But so this is a later morning than normal or than like the rest of the week. My workout class starts at 8.30. It's my favorite coach, so I'll try to like take hers. I'll try to take hers, sometimes I do go earlier now. Uh, but I woke up at like 6.40, and now I'm just getting ready. I'm gonna go on a little silent walk. When I have later workout classes, I'll typically go on a walk in the morning, and then do my reading and journaling, you'll know the drill, and head off for class. The set that I'm wearing is Amazon. Love it, I'm just gonna throw a white tank top on on top. My face is pretty tan um, from this soul face stuff. It's like this tanning water spray. I will link it. I spray it on top of just like an oil or something in my skincare. And then I like, like, I guess like tap it in 
with this little brush. This tank top is Brandy Belleville. I have like so many like just solid random basics from Brandy. I don't like love this tank, but I would like, wear it in the morning, who cares, you know? to drink water with electrolytes first. I'm back home, so I have my water, my coffee, a little notebook set up. Look at fits right now. <sighs> gathering my things for my workout. Obviously need my ice roller, the best thing ever. I used to always take the 8.30 class, and now that I'm like back on my early morning grind, I really don't like it because I like being ready to like start my day by nine. I'll typically listen to a podcast or music or whatever, obviously. You guys know the drill by now. This coffee every morning, it just puts me in the best mood ever. And look who it is. What do you say? I beat you. Oh, that's huge. Uh, that is huge. What are you listening to? Uh, uh, it's, my, it's my list. It's my favorite. Oh, I haven't listened to the new ones yet. I'm, I'm, because I want the full experience. Off we go. Okay, guys. Great workout this morning. Spraying my spray as always. Woo! Feels so good. I'm heading home. Great though, I actually like lifted way more than I normally do. So I'm feeling very strong. I'm gonna get some steps in. I have about 30 minutes before I need to shower and get ready for my day. So instead of just like going on my laptop and figuring out what I need to do, I'm gonna do it as I walk because I get more done when I walk and I'm more productive. I'm still trying to figure out how this TV works. I'm having some issues. Um, but trying to connect it. Love Britney Spears Hawaii concerts. The best thing ever. It's great to put on during 12 3 30. I'm not doing 12 3 30, but. Okay, this is how I look right now. I just walked like a mile or two, I think. I wasn't even really tracking, and I think this is from yesterday. It's time to shower. I've showered, I have oil all over my body, primarily pure, of course. This is what I'm wearing from home today. I'm not leaving, I'm working from home, so it is what it is. Anyways, this is the true test of my hair today. Okay, not bad. I can definitely fix this by tonight compared to what it should be. Honestly, totally fine. You never know post-workout when you're like throwing it up in different buns and stuff to see. Like, this works. I'm gonna put on some little hoops because it makes me feel a little bit more put together. I've got people coming and working in the house today, so. Okay, perfect. I'm pretty much ready. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm just gonna make breakfast and get to work and I'm just making ground beef and like a little scramble, nothing crazy that you guys haven't seen before. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life of my morning routines. It's my favorite part of the day. It's something I'm very passionate about. I also have like a ton of podcast episodes and stuff on this. If this is like your kind of thing, you would love my podcast. It's also like a chill podcast. It's not all like self-development, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was going to say show this video. Subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys so much. If you made it to the end, comment 727. Okay. Love you guys so much. Bye another quote for you i'm like coming in hot okay your future growth and progress are now based in your understanding about the difference between the two ways in which you can measure yourself against an ideal which puts you in what we call the gap and then against your starting point which puts you in the gain appreciating all that you have accomplished so high achievers in particular which i feel like a lot of people listening to this podcast are probably even though it isn't like, I don't know, the podcast is like all over the place to talk about everything, but I feel like a lot of podcast listeners in general are, um, they are particularly prone to living in the gap and being very unhappy and very unfulfilled. They give a bunch of stats in the book about how like CEOs of like Fortune 500 companies, like the links between like anxiety and depression and even like suicide, like